guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's Kelsey and Aaron, and today it is Quick Talk Tuesday. Yes, today we are coming with at you with a quick talk about forgiveness, about saying I'm sorry more specifically, when you're the one who needs to say you're sorry, okay? And um, we're going to read a, a quick Bible verse just to have a foundation to stand upon because God really wants us to be all on one accord. And so we're just going to stand on this Bible verse. We're going to talk about this right here, right now, Matthew right now. 12, 25. And it says, knowing their thoughts, he said to them, every kingdom divided against itself is laid waste, and no city or house divided against itself will stand. No city or house. Right. <laughs> and I'm going to add on to that. The Bible also says that the enemy comes but to steal, kill, and destroy. And I want to add that, hey, another word for destroy is to separate. Okay, now that's the whole, that is the devil's purpose. He wants to separate you from your calling, separate you from the people that you're supposed to be connected with, and separate you from Jesus, ultimately, right? So well, everything he does is to create separation, okay? So if, now if there is a, a problem between me and Kelsey, there's separation there. There is, we all know that feeling when it's like, oh man, that's why, that's the feeling like I see you in a grocery store and I ain't trying to walk your way because I know me and you got issues, right? That's all he wants to do. Now imagine in the kingdom of God, we are now in the kingdom of God. If you are a Christian, you are now a part of the kingdom of God. He is trying to separate you from your calling, separate you from the kingdom, separate you and stop us, your ability to have connections, kingdom connections in the kingdom, okay? So now if I have a, if me and Kelsey are both Christians, He's separating us, and I, I'm no longer talking to Kelsey. Now I am separated from every gift that Kelsey has, her abilities, the people that she knows, her influence. I am now completely separated and, and, and set apart from her, and we can no longer work together. That is the enemy's plan. Now I want to challenge you and ask you, hey, is the enemy winning in your life in that way? Is there somebody that you need to go ahead and apologize to, to be the bigger person to, to set your pride aside and say, hey, it is not about me. It is about the kingdom. Because in, in all reality, there are people, there are souls attached to your apology there are souls attached to you saying I am sorry because once we become once we come back together and and we are there's no longer no rift between us we can work together we can create things together we can do everything that God has called us to do but sometimes your friends who you, who you have not apologized to your acquaintances who you have not apologized to those are people that are, are waiting with blessings in hand God can use those people to bless you to connect you to people to do th things through you so that you can connect them with people they're, they're people who are waiting for you 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 know, and I was just I was just want to encourage you that hey, some of your favorite preachers and pastors, I don't know specific stories, but I would bet that there were some times where those people would have to say I am sorry to someone. And if they hadn't said I'm sorry, if they hadn't made things right, they may not be on TV, they might not be on the platform that they are on. And all the souls that they are speaking to now might not have ever heard their voice, all because of pride in the in in the separation that the enemy was able to cause. So we just want to challenge you today. Hey, is there some somebody that you need to apologize to yeah and I think one thing that's um, important to keep in mind is that you know how you've heard the saying like we'll take the high road or be the bigger person or whatever there's some truth to that and I think the biggest um, benefit of doing those things of being the person to go out and forget or forgive and apologize and um, just kind of let stuff go is it, it makes you the bigger person because at the end of the day if someone if you apologize to someone and they are just like, no, whatever, at least you got that off. Your side is like taken care of. And, and also by um, letting stuff go, forgiving people, apologizing, you're able to really just show like true love and true grace and true forgiveness, which is really what we're called to do and yeah. be just like Jesus. Um, and that really just, I, I just feel like when someone just gives, like, gives you true like forgiveness and grace and like whatever else, Man, it just make things make can make things so much like more peaceful and yeah. smooth and like. Yeah. <laughs> tell tell them who we're wrestling against. Well, first of all, we ain't wrestling against flesh and blood. Not <laughs> but seriously, the Bible even says we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. It is the enemy. That's the root of all evil. Anything that anybody's done to you, anything um, that you need to apologize that you've done to somebody, that's all. From the devil. Okay, so just remember, you're not fighting people. We all need to be on one accord, especially the church. We all need to be one because when the devil is able to get inside and tear people apart, like Aaron was saying, separate people, 
we don't have all those benefits that God intended because God loves relationship. God wanted us to have a relationship from the very beginning. That's why he gave Eve to Adam. Like from the very beginning, he was like, man should not be alone. And he still says that today. Relationships are important for many reasons. And the devil tries his best to separate us. Yes, yes, guys. And imagine how powerful your family could be if you take a second and say, hey, all right, look, for our sake, for the sake of the kingdom, I just want to say, hey, I am sorry. I just want to make bring up this point that happened the other day. Blah, 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 blah. In your own family, because that's where the, I really feel like that's a big place where the enemy tries to separate you. It's from your own family, through little arguments, through here and there. Uh, how many times are we here? Oh, I don't want to go over that family member's house for Thanksgiving. I don't want to go there. I don't want to go do, do this. Because there is division. There is division. And when there is division, there is no oneness. And without oneness, we cannot, we can't all do everything that God has called us to do. We are called to be together with him in Christ and with fellow believers. There are so many Bible verses about, just type in on Google, what does the Bible say about apologizing? <coughs> and I mean, like, you will you will see. There's a, there's a whole list of, of scriptures talking about the power of apologizing and what, what God wants us to do. Because he, he forgave us and we didn't even deserve it. And that's why he says we need to go forgive everyone else. Because they don't even deserve it either. I mean, but because we didn't, at first we didn't deserve it either, you know. So anyways, guys, we just wanted to encourage you with a quick talk Tuesday. But before you go, we just, I just let me just pray for you. Um, if you have not accepted Jesus into your life, go ahead and pray this prayer after me and say, Hey, Jesus, please come into my life. I ask that you would become my Lord and Savior. Please forgive me for all of my sins. Now, if you prayed that prayer, you are changed 100%, brand new. You may not feel it on the outside, but you are brand new on the inside. Now, I just want to encourage you to get into the Word. Start with the book of John, and then start reading the New Testament. Read the Old Testament, but get into a Bible study. Get somewhere where you can grow as your as a Christian and start understanding the Word. Um, we love looking at little YouTube videos. Um, before you read a book of the Bible, maybe you should check out the Bible Project on YouTube and say Bible Project, and then say the book of John. And it'll tell you, give you a good, a really good overview review of like the book of John okay so anyways guys we just love you we just want to encourage you to keep on going keep on growing in Jesus and forgive those people because you just don't know who what souls are attached to your forgiveness and to your apologies as well yes all right guys it's been a quick, quick talk, talk Tuesday. Tuesday we love you Mwah. Bella get off the table <laughs>